Right, you guys, got another video here for you on how to clean your laptop the right way. I purchased this laptop used on eBay, and you can see here it's got bits of food and nasty bits of grime and dirt all over the uh, laptop itself. Inside, people have been touching the keyboard and using the keyboard, and you have no clue of what they've been using this laptop for. So I'm going to sanitize it and then clean it up, and I'll show you exactly step by step on how to do this. It's pretty straightforward to do. And uh, this is just for the outside of the laptop and the keyboard and everything else. It's not actually uh, the inner workings of the uh, laptop. So first off, we've got a microfiber cloth. This is important because it doesn't leave any lint behind, and that's what we want to use. You're going to need some water and some uh, dish soap or washing up liquid if you live in the UK. Just a couple of drops, and then basically work in small circles and the cloth needs to be virtually dry, like damp. You don't want to saturate this because water is not good for electronic components. Do not do this on open areas like vents and things like that, or any sort of USB ports, because you will break your laptop. So work it in in small circles and just keep working round until you get it all nice and clean. You can work down the back as well. And once you've done that, you can get a dry cloth and dry off any sort of surplus water. Now, people get paranoid about water because they have not used their common sense and they start going into the keyboard area and this way you can have problems. I'm going to get a alcohol wipe here and just work my way all over the actual laptop itself where the keyboard is and where the actual palm rest is because people have been using it and I have no clue of what they've been doing with this laptop. So. I'm just going to sanitize it with 100% alcohol. Now I'm going to work my way through here and just work in small circles here. Be careful not to catch any sort of keys. The reason why we're using alcohol is because it dries very quickly. It's pretty much rapid as soon as it hits the actual laptop itself. Now you can use antibacterial wipes, but just drain off any surplus water in those bacterial wipes so it doesn't actually go in any sort of crevices. So I'm just going to work my way along the keyboard here Make sure no liquid obviously gets in through the keyboard because obviously that will break your laptop. So just be nice and careful around this area and careful not to catch any sort of keys with your cloth. And you can see already it's starting to clean up nicely. I'm using this 100% uh, alcohol here on the actual keyboard. And again, this will clean up any sort of bacteria and kill any bacteria on the laptop itself. Now I do have a micro blower with a brush on it, which I would work my way around the keyboard area, but mine just died, so I can't use it. But if you have got one of those, I would suggest you use it around the keyboard area to remove any loose debris inside near the keys. And then you can go ahead and use a cotton bud to clean up any sort of areas around the keyboard, especially if you've got like hair and other types of material like that there. I'm just going around and clearing off any sort of food spots or anything like that that was on the laptop. And then once I've done this, I can move on to the next stage of the cleaning process. Now, my main concern for this laptop is to get rid of any bacteria that is left behind on the keyboard. And again, 100% alcohol is going to take care of this. So I'm just going to work my way over these keys one at a time and clean them. And then I'll get a Q-tip or cotton bud, which we call in the UK, and get down the corners and crevices of the actual keyboard and clean out any sort of uh, crud in there. Now I've used this method for many years and I've cleaned up many laptops using this method and it always comes out really nice. You can see here. So if I was going to be selling this laptop, I would literally be using this method to get it nice and clean. And basically this will help sell the laptop. Now this is a 2016 ThinkPad and again, it's important that all of the ports are clean as well. You can use a Q-tip or cotton bud and basically work your way into these ports and clean out any sort of crud. You can then get yourself a bit of compressed air and blow out any sort of uh, debris that's inside here. Now, if you've got one of them little blowers with the little brush on them, you can use those. But you can see the liquid is literally drying instantly, and that's because it's alcohol. And it's non-conductive, so it should be perfectly fine with electrical components. Just don't use water or anything like that. So I'm just going to give this a quick spray. Before you use any sort of compressed air, always spray out the liquid first, and then so you've got air coming out, and then you can basically go into any of these crevices to dry them out. And just use small bursts. 
Now we're nearly there now. All we need to do is finish this off. I'm just going to finish this last bit off. And then what I'm going to do is clean the glass on the screen. Now, depending on what type of screen you've got, you never want to use any sort of polish because that is going to start to smear and it's going to really sort of make the screen look nasty. You can use, uh, you know, like a glasses lint uh, to clean your screen. I'm just going to be using this Mr. Muscle uh, glass cleaner here. You can use whatever glass cleaner you've got. Never spray liquid onto the actual screen or on the keyboard or anything like that directly. You always want to put that on the cloth first and use very sparingly. You only need a small amount and then just give this a little rub across to clean any sort of uh, dust off and remove any sort of marks. And then you can buff off with a, a dry cloth afterwards. But it should start drying immediately because a lot of these cleaners have some sort of alcohol or ammonia inside them. Now, be very, very careful what type of stuff you do rub on a laptop because some of it will start to uh, make the plastic go murky and smeared. So you don't want to ever use that. So don't ever use furniture polish on the actual screen here. You should only be using that on the actual keyboard and on the palm rest. Now, again, I'm only going to be spraying this onto the cloth and you only need a tiny amount. A little goes a long way and work in small circles and you should start bringing the a nice color back to the laptop itself and you can see we have a nice reflection and also it looks pretty clean now I do have quite a bit of electrical components in this office and there is a lot of dust floating about so you do get micro dust floating about in this room all the time and it's very hard to keep everything clean but if i had this little vacuum here now i would just run this over the top here and just finish off any sort of dust that may have just settled here but basically it's all ready and you can see it is super clean now you can see a bit of dust floating around and that's because this room is a pretty dusty room and there is a little bit landed on top of the surface here. And if I had my blower here with the little brush on it, I would have just give it a once over and uh, cleaned off the rest of this. There is one on order, so hopefully that will be here tomorrow and I can finish this off. But you get a general idea and uh, all of the keys look really, really clean. There's no bacteria and food and all that sort of stuff left behind. And that's exactly what you're after. So whether you're keeping it or selling it, this is the process I would take to clean up a laptop to make sure it's nice and clean. Now, of course, if you are selling it, it's going to look much better uh, to the customer if they're looking to buy something like this with it in this sort of state. So using this tried and trusted method, you should be able to bring a new lease of life into your laptop if it's looking a bit grubby and grimy. Use these methods and you will soon have that laptop back up into a nice pristine state or as good as you can get it looking for the age of it. This is 2016. Now with this being an old office uh, laptop, you can see here there's a few little micro scratches on here, but there's not a lot you can do about that. It looks pretty good. And again, let me know what sort of videos you want to see on this. Do you want to see uh, some upgrade videos? Do you want to see, uh, you know, Chrome uh, OS on here, some Linux distros? Let me know in the comment section what you want to see. This is a touch screen as well. I'd be interested to see if Linux installs on here. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Just want to say a special shout out to Mal Sierra, Gary Belts, Welsh Tony One, Geo Sam, Jedi Buddhist, and Phil's Computer Repair. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.